Today we're going to look at PLC programming and the use of on and off delay timers within your logic. Okay, so I've already added a normal open contact. If I scroll down on my list of options, I'm going to select the timer to use, which is an on delay timer. And let's place it into my program. Like it gives it a name of T001. It will give each timer you add a unique name. If your timers had the same name, it would cause a conflict within your program. So I'm going to wire this to our normal open contact. And I'm going to right click on the block and select block properties. And there are three options for your time configuration, hours and minutes, minutes and seconds, or seconds and milliseconds. I'm going to choose the third option for seconds and set the delay to three seconds. Okay, so I'm now going to add in a, another normal open contact. Now this should allow me to choose the timer that we've just added, this T001. So what this is doing is, this is replicating the state of this timer. So, why this to the power oil. And I'm adding in a relay coil, so we can see our output turning on and off. But I'm just going to select an internal memory bit rather than a physical output. So I'll select M1. Why this up. Okay, so what we're going to do now is simulate this logic and when we activate input one, there will be a three second delay before the timer activates, which will change the state of this contact, which will activate our output. So our output will be triggered after three seconds has expired. So we open the simulation and if I trigger the input, so it will start the three second delay. One, two, three, and you can see our output has become active. So let's turn this off and stop the simulation. Okay, so I'm now going to create a off delay timer. So an off delay timer will turn something off after the configured time. So it's the opposite of what we've just developed here. So again, I'm going to begin by adding a contact. This time it's a normally closed contact. Choose input two. And I'm going to add in a timer from our list of timers. This time we're going to choose an off delay timer. went up to our trigger input and again I'm going to select the timer configuration for seconds and I'm going to choose three seconds so if I now add in a normally open contact and I'm going to choose the timer we've just added which is timer 2 And I'm going to add in a relay coil. Again, I'm going to choose an internal memory bit. So I'll choose memory bit two. Rather than driving a physical output. And what will happen when we simulate this is this will begin active. And then this is an off delay timer. So when this input changes to an off state, that will begin the timer and after three seconds our output M2 will switch off. So let's begin the simulation. You can see our output M2 is on. So what I'm going to do is to turn our output on, which because it's a normally closed contact will turn it off. And I'll begin our timer. One, two, three and our output M2 switches off. Bye bye.